This is WPBF 25 News, first at four. We're worried about our health. I'm sure she will. My wife, because my wife, she's, she's sick every day with major headaches when she gets home. Uh, and we're sitting there, what can we do? A major decision by the government, a just released report shows a strong association between Chinese drywall and corroded pipes and wires. Good afternoon, I'm Victor Blackwell. And I'm Tiffany Kenny. Thank you for joining us. First at four, the findings echo concerns and complaints by hundreds of homeowners throughout the Palm Beaches and Treasure Coast. Jim Abbott spoke with a Port St. Lucie man reeling from serious health and financial problems who says something needs to be done. Jim. For eight months now, William Palsgraf has suspected that Chinese drywall was the root of the problems in his home, and because of that... It was, was assessed at 178000 It's gone down, but now because of the drywall, it's now assessed at $56,000. The latest U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission report gives him some confidence that help could come his way. For the first time, the Commission Task Force says there is a strong association between Chinese drywall, hydrogen sulfide gas, and metal corrosion in homes. In Palsgraf's case... All my pipes in my house and all my wiring is all black and it's corroded in my house. And we think about what's it doing to the pipe, what's it doing to us if it's doing that to the, all our pipes and our appliances. The report goes on to say that hydrogen sulfide gas is being created in homes with Chinese drywall. And while drywall-related corrosion is present, long-term safety effects are still under investigation. It also says the task force is working with the White House and Congress to determine how to help families who are suffering. Florida Senator George Lemieux says Congress has to help. We really need to look at it, like I said, as a national disaster and do like we do when there's a hurricane where the federal government provides relief. Our people are really hurting from this, and it comes at a very difficult time. One of the great unknowns are the health problems some homeowners are experiencing. William Paul's graph has rashes that he assures from exposure to the drywall. As far as long term, we're worried about our health. I'm sure she will. My wife, because my wife, she's she's sick every day with major headaches when she gets home. Uh, and we're sitting there. What can we do? If you think you have a Chinese drywall problem, the Consumer Product Safety Commission wants to hear from you. Now, the number to call is 1-800-638-2772. Coming up on New at 6, we talked with the Chinese drywall inspector who says that any help that comes from the government could be minor at best. Jim Abbott, WPBF 25 News.